We still have a great crowd in the church here, waiting for the arrival of those who went for procession. These people are all protesting for the incessant killings of the Christians in Nigeria. We are reporting live. This is Benjamin TV reporting today's massive protest, procession for the killing of the Christians in Nigeria. That the killing should stop. The government should protect the life of everybody in the country. That Buhari should stop killing and change the change. You can know should help us. You can know should help us. You can know, come and help us. Yes. BBC, come and hear it. You yeah, know, come and see. The federal government has failed. The federal government has failed. Enough is enough. The federal government has failed. Enough is enough. We need better We need better electricity. We need better electricity. We need better electricity. We need better electricity. Killing and everything. Everywhere. We need more action. The federal government has already failed us. It's too much. We are not more action. It's too much. Yes, no security. Everything. Yes, no security. The federal government has already failed us. The discrimination is not just convention. Yes, no security. Yes, I 
the youth and the holy childhood. Abu Uka Prince, Zukoran Neba. Etwa Osina Otu Neba. Kona Otu Noka Diasis. Otu Noka Diasis. Kandi Uma Duwe Bata Neba. Ndiba Niro Bata Sia. Nuku Ebido Exposition. Ika Nipulo. Ariba Yon De Chika General 2. Ape Tua Nino Kanibazi. Mano Mono Tana. Uki Gali Uke. Uto Aroka Oma Bata. Mamu Nemo Exposition. Ewe Uka Kote Patu Sando. Meta Kika Nengendo. Ewe Kia Yane De Pes. In Sensation. Tutu Pana Yo Uko Mu. Ewe Uno Kone Mone. Dos Ginta. And they remind us why we are here. This is the conclusion of the Shalala Law. You can use welcome on behalf of the Catholic Diocese. I mean, the Catholic Bishop of the Guadalajara Diocese, Most Reverend Doctor Ita Ebelechuku Abaleke. Can you remember that?
Thank you so much. Uh, Reverend Father Ignatius, I want to help you. I'm going to go to the cathedral of the Lord, the diocese, and I'm over to that. I'm going to go to the cathedral of the Lord, the diocese, and I'm over to that. I'm going to go to the cathedral of the Lord, the diocese, and I'm over to that. To make it very brief, I will demonstration what is happening in Nigeria is becoming so painful, is becoming so disheartening. The killing, incessant killing by the Boko Halamists, the herdsmen, the worst of it all is that the government of Nigeria, they have never said anything and their silence is becoming very suspicious. All of us, we are wondering whether they, our government that we should protect our life and the properties of people in Nigeria, whether they are involved in what is happening in Nigeria. If they are not involved, either they are gaining something from it, because they have never made any statement they're supposed to protect us. And uh, since they don't want to protect us, that is why we are shouting, so that the heavens will hear our voice. And we are tired. We are saying no, and enough is enough. You can see people wearing blacks everywhere. And the blacks, I mean the black is very symbolic in African culture. In the Christian context, it means dissenting. Also in many other cultures, black number one is a sign of solo, grief, and equally the sign that we are tired of what is happening. We are saying no. Determination to say no. And another one, the finally, is a silent revolution, saying that we can no longer accept the status quo in Nigeria, that we have equal right to life. Um, assistance now, what special advice do you have for the faithful, the public, especially those who attend it to do, because they are always at the receiving end of both the violence and every other thing. What special advice do you have for all the congregation? It's part of the reason for today's gathering. When we discovered that people are no longer, they have no other place to hide except in God. They will always find their solace in the church and in Christ. And that's the reason why we gathered before our Lord in the Eucharistic species, from where we can draw strength, from where we can draw consolation and protection, believing that our God is capable of delivering his people, of fighting for our cause. So that's the reason why we gathered people today, so that they will keep on believing God, praying very fervently, knowing that uh, it won't take long. God had, I mean, has heard our prayer, and He is going to answer us. We believe that very strongly. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Benji's Sisters, Christ.